Well, one local business has been conducting active shooter trainings for years, but as more mass shootings happen every day, they are seeing more businesses asked to take part in these training exercises. Western Mass reporter Kristen Murnell is getting answers on why they say this type of training is so important. There have been more mass shootings in the United States than days so far in 2023. One local agency based in West Springfield is raising awareness about the importance of active shooter trainings. Businesses who care about their employees have, are calling us and um, they're learning strategies on mass public shooting events, whether it be Holyoke Housing Authority or a house of worship, uh, big businesses, small businesses, schools colleges. Protective Advanced Safety hosts active shooter trainings for many businesses across the region. We use a lot of practices. We use uh, breathing techniques. We use um, a lot of videos and we use reality based training where my partner and I create um, an event that is either happened before in the past based on the data that we're, we're, we're receiving and then we create it in the business that actually calls us is part of a, a small portion of the training. Western Mass News was able to get an inside look at one of their active shooter trainings for the Holyoke Housing Authority. Okay. Employees were instructed to hide in their offices while a shooting drill was acted out by the Protective Advanced Safety Team. You can hear piercing rounds of fake bullets fired as the mock shooter walks through the hallways looking for any employees at Holyoke Housing Authority. Before that scenario played out, the team held a seminar for employees to educate them how to react if that situation you just heard was ever to become a reality. We're going in and working with administrators to teach them strategies to mitigate casualties during a mass shooting event. Dozens of people in attendance were able to experience and learn from known strategies commonly used by shooters, including Janera Healy. I still have heart palpitations because you're just not, you're preparing yourself to learn how to address these types of situations, the best things to do. So all we can do is ask our employees to do the, be prepared in case something like this happens. A quick Google search on active shooting protocol shows hundreds of entities listing how you can stay safe if you were to ever find yourself involved in a shooting. One of the most common techniques offers three pieces of advice, run, hide, and fight. That's something Healy says she learned from Protective Advanced Safety Services, and she instigated as soon as she heard the shots fired. To listen to your surroundings and then make a decision based on where you feel that it's coming from. So you hide first off if you feel necessary to, or if you have the opportunity knowing where it's coming from to run. And then if you really need to, if it's happening in front of you, fight. This training in Holyoke all taking place while another mass shooting was happening in Texas, leaving eight people dead and the gunmen dead including a former UMass Amherst graduate. Healy adds that participating in this type of training was an extremely important and incredibly moving experience that she recommends anyone take part in. They are happening daily. I can be at work and knowing that we've taken the opportunity to take tactics to make sure we can not overreact to the situation, but be prepared. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Kristen Burnell.